guys welcome to my channel and my name is Akshay I'm gonna talk about Abraham Lincoln chapter 1 a leader is born meet Abraham Lincoln you have probably heard of Abraham Lincoln he he was the 16th president of United States of America his face is on both the penny and the five dollar bill so nice he his face is on there's a big statue of him in Washington, D.C., the Lincoln Memorial. It's this, guys. I'm going to show you the Lincoln Memorial. It's a cartoonish memorial here. Yeah. This is the Lincoln Memorial. And where were we? Oh, yeah. $5 bill. Big statue of him. Many people say he was the best president in the United States ever had. That's because without Abraham Lincoln, there might not even be a, be a United States as civil war began and the slavery spread. He stopped slavery. Abraham Lincoln stops it, slavery from spreading into the north and the civil war began and the they lost. The the confidential states of America lost. That's it. When Abraham Lincoln was president, many people did not agree. Uh, agree with another one the big statue the big statue the biggest argument was about slavery in some states it was legal to enslave people were mostly african american by law they were Con considered property, not people with rights. Their children were enslaved too. They were bought and sold, forced to work hard, and often treated cruelly by the test. Abraham Lincoln was born. The th this type of slavery had been part of American life for almost 200 years. Wow. When he became president, the argument about slavery would almost tear the, tear the United States with the <laughs> South and North. From a young age, Abraham knew that slavery was wrong. Yes, slavery was wrong. Abraham knew that slavery was wrong. Yes, <laughs> I read that. Time to the video. He loved that America began with the ideas of equality, freedom, and unity. As an adult, his brave decisions would help lead to civil war and end slavery. So, what led him to become such an amazing president? Let's journey back in time and find out. This was Abraham Lincoln's words. Yes, I'm going to say it. If slavery is wrong, nothing is wrong. I cannot remember when I did not so think and feel. Abraham's America. Yes, he born in America. Abraham Lincoln was born in Kentucky on February 12, 1809. His family lived in a log cabin with only one room. Well, at night, Abraham likely heard wild animals outside in the darkness. Sometimes he and his older sister, Sarah, had, had to shoe mice out of their corn husk mattresses. 
so they could sleep. Back then there was no indoor bathroom. Today we have indoor, but he's living in a poor family. After then he became president of America, the 16th president of America. They had no running water for washing or cooking. For Abraham's poor family, there wasn't even a wooden floor. It was just made of dirt. It was made out of dirt. Well, not what do you think it would be like to live without electricity? Just write in a paper. Don't uh, comment me. I'm not going to say to comment you guys. Abraham's parents, Thomas and Nan Nancy, worked hard on their farm. They did not enslave people like the wealthy plantation owners. They did their own work. Abraham and Sarah helped too. Nancy made the clothes for the family. Abraham grew so quickly that sometimes his pants stopped inches above his ankles and his wrist stuck out of his shirts. If Abraham had had time to play, he climbed trees or swamps and creeks. True Nan though Nancy couldn't read. What? She told her family Bible stories from memory. I thought it was that one. By candlelight. In the evenings, no one had electricity in their homes, then even in the few small cities. America was still a new country, hence they got independence. Yeah. It's a new country, actually. When Abraham was born, there were only 17 states. The rest were called territories. Many of the territories wanted to join the Union. Some people wanted to keep any territory that allowed slavery. Others wanted to let each state make its own rules. What are they countries? Abraham's parents believe no one should should be allowed to buy small and sell another person. They joined an anti-slavery church where Abraham listened to the sermons about freeing the enslaved people. He didn't know that then when then they that these early lessons would one day lead him to charge the country forever. The cement Cement is place in history. When? 1619. The first enslaved people are, are brought to America. Just 1789. George Washington becomes the first president of the USA. And 1806, Thomas and Thomas Lincoln and Nancy Hanks get married. And this is the map. This is the map in 1809. Yes. 1809. Ohio was the part down in Ohio. Yes, and 1807. Abraham's sister Sarah is born. 1807, I guess. People can no longer be bought from Africa to be enslaved in the U.S. 1809, Abraham Lincoln is born. The first part, I mean the 16th part. Chapter 2, the early years. Hard time. Wow, Abraham Lincoln had a hard time. Abra when Abraham was seven, Abraham was seven. Oh, seven years old, the, the Lincoln family moved to Indiana, hoping to 
find better land. The farm. When they arrived, they had to cut down trees to build their house and plow their fields so they could plant vegetables. Abraham helped this job, even though he was very young. <coughs> then something terrible happened. Abraham's mother became sick from drinking bad milk. And later that Abraham was only was only nine years old and Sarah was eleven when their mother was laid to rest Abraham was diverse devastated he would sit in the corner reciting Bible stories his mother had told him as if her words made him feel better. But though, though all, all Abraham's life, people notice a sadness in him. So, yeah. <laughs> but I like Indiana, Indiana Jones. Where Kentucky to Indiana? It was hard for Thomas. It was hard for Thomas to take care of his children and the farm. He decided that he needed a new wife. He went back to Kentucky, leaving Abraham and Sarah at home. Abraham was scared. How how would it how would they take care of themselves and older cousin moved in to to help? But by the time their father had returned. They were all dirty. What? And hungry. Luckily, their father's new wife changed things, especially for Abraham. Always learning. Abraham loved his stepmother. Immediately, Sarah burst in short story. John story. Was sweet and kind. She and Thomas had known each other when they were young. Now she was a widow with three children joining on the farm. John, it is Elizabeth and Matilda. Matilda. But she treated Abraham and Sarah as her own. Abraham's stepmother made things nicer for Abraham. She asked Thomas to put in a real floor cabin in the cabin in the cabin. The cabin became much homier and cleaner. Best of all, she wanted Abraham to learn like Nancy. Sarah couldn't read or write, but both women thought education was important. Yes, education is important for me also. I'm also nine years old. When Abraham was six, he and his sister Sarah had gone to a one school, one room schoolhouse for a few weeks. There he learned the alphabet and how to count. The new Miss Mr. Miss Lincoln also sent Abraham and Sarah to school. They couldn't uh, often because, because they they get yeah, back to the video. They had to help on the farm. Abraham once said he went to school by little because he went just a little at a time. All days he attended school. We had up to lessons then a year. He always wished he could have he could have had more school schooling. 
He worked hard on his own. Oh. He, he copied sections from the book. To practice writing and then memorize them, paper was hard to get. So when he ran out of, he ran out, he write on boats. Yes, boats. Reading open old worlds for Abraham. Once he started, once he started, Sure about that. Yes. He reading opened up whole worlds for Abraham. Once he started, he never wanted to stop. His father sometimes found Abraham reading in the field. Thomas would angry send him, send Abraham back to work. Thomas couldn't read, and saw so no need for it. He taught Abraham and saw no need for it. He thought Abraham was lazy. He's not lazy. But Abraham loved reading more than farm work. Abraham and his father grew further and further apart. Yes, last page. This is what Abraham said. My best friend is a person who will give me a book I have not read. read. Sarah understood Abraham. Back to the video. Sarah understood Abraham better than his father. She took his side in their many arguments. She even gave Abraham books. Two of his favorite were Aesop's Fables, a biography about George Washington, the first president of the United States of America. Many books of the of the books included lessons on right and wrong lessons. He carried with him for years to come. Yeah, when Lincoln's family moved to Indiana in 1860. 1888, 1888, Lincoln's mother, Nancy, died. And yes, 1919, when the Napoleonic Wars was still happening, Thomas Lincoln married Sarah Bush Johnson. That's the end. Thank you. And make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.